One of the most powerful tools in number theory and in cryptography is something known as the Chinese Remainder Theorem algorithm. And this is based on an ancient Chinese not-so-secret process that first appeared in the work of Sun Zhi in the 5th century, where he posed the following problem. An unknown number of objects, when counted by three, two remain, when counted by fives, three remain, and when counted by sevens, two remain. How many objects? So this is equivalent to solving the system of congruences. Counting by three and leaving two says that however many objects we have is going to be congruent to two mod three. Similarly, counting by fives and leaving three is the same as saying our number is congruent to three mod five. And counting by sevens and leaving two is the same as saying that our number is congruent to two mod seven. Sun Xi's solution is a bit hard to follow, and so to solve this, we'll use the following approach. First, we'll do something that we often do whenever we're facing a hard problem. We'll ignore most of the problem. Suppose we find x equals a as a solution to x congruent to 2 mod 3. Then a plus 3k will be congruent to 2 mod 3. And so a plus 3k is still a solution to x congruent to 2 mod 3. Now we can start to bring in the parts of the problem that we ignored, starting with this x congruent to 3 mod 5. Since a plus 3k is a solution to x congruent to 2 mod 3, we'll find k where a plus 3k is also a solution to 3 mod 5. And once we have that, we'll lather, rinse, repeat. So first we'll solve x congruent to 2 mod 3. And after staring at this very complicated equation, we realize that x equals 2 is a solution. And so all solutions will be x equal to 2 plus 3k. So now I want this to be a solution to 3 mod 5. So substituting 2 plus 3k into my congruence, I have 2 plus 3k congruent to 3 mod 5. And so that means that 2 plus 3k is 3 more than a multiple of 5, 3 plus 5y. I'm going to solve this for k. And so we have... But since k is supposed to be an integer, we require 2y plus 1 over 3 be some integer, we'll call it z, and we find But because y is supposed to be an integer, we require that z minus 1 over 2 be some integer, we'll call that w, and we find And so this gives us a solution. If w equals 0, then k equals 2. And x is going to be 2 plus 3 times 2, otherwise known as 8. Now, if we're fantastically lucky, x equal to 8 will solve this third congruence. But we're not. Since 8 does not solve x congruent to 2 mod 7, we can add multiples of 3 times 5, 15, and that will preserve our solutions. 8 plus 15k is still congruent to 2 mod 3, and 8 plus 15k is still congruent to 3 mod 5. But our hope is that 8 plus 15k will be congruent to 2 mod 7. And now we can try to solve this. Since we're working mod 7, remember, working mod n means you never have to work with numbers larger than n, we can actually reduce some of our coefficients. 1 plus k congruent to 2 mod 7 means that 1 plus k is 2 more than a multiple of 7. And we can solve this. And here, as long as y is an integer, k will also be an integer. And so we can pick any integer value for y that we want. 
How about 0, in which case we find k is. And so the solution we need, 8 plus 15 times 1, that's 23. And this solves our original congruence. A useful thing to keep in mind is that since our moduli are 3, 5, and 7, if we add a multiple of 3 times 5 times 7, we don't change any of the congruences. And so we note that 23 plus 3 times 5 times 7k also solves the congruence. So let's try a more complicated problem. We want to find the least positive solution to x congruent of 15 mod 16, 27 mod 31, and 23 mod 25. Now, since we can reduce the numbers mod n, if we start with the largest modulus, we can simplify as we go. So we want to find a solution to x congruent to 27 mod 31, and so we find a solution is 27. And if we add a multiple of 31, it'll still be congruent to 27 mod 31. So our second largest modulus is 25. So we know that 27 plus 31y satisfies this first congruence. So we also want it to satisfy the second congruence. And so we want 27 plus 31y to be congruent to 23 mod 25. We can reduce our coefficients. and then solve. And if we pick w equals 4, we'll get positive solutions. So we'll let w equals 4. And so we find y equals 16. And so x equals 523 solves both of these congruences. And now we'll try and bring in that third congruence. So we know that we can add a multiple of 31 and 25 and not lose our solution. So we want 523 plus a multiple of 31 times 25 to be congruent to 15 mod 16. And because we're working mod 16, we can reduce. And then that says that 11 plus 7y is 15 more than a multiple of 16. So we can solve. And so we can find a solution. One solution is t equals 0 and y equals 28, which gives us a solution of 22 to 23. And remember, we can add or subtract a multiple of the product of all the moduli, 31 times 25 times 16. And so we can reduce to find the least positive solution. 22 to 23 is congruent to 98, 23 mod the product 31 times 25 times 16. And so 9823 is the least positive solution.